found an Islands of Adventure in Hogsmeade, and it's time for lunch. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic that Universal, Disney, and Florida have to offer plus size people. Today I happen to be at Islands of Adventure, visiting Hogsmeade, and I think I will check out the Three Broomsticks, which is right behind me. I've never had a meal here before. It's time to check it out. Let's take a look at the offerings here for today. They have fish and chips, beef pasties with a garden salad, shepherd's pie. Hmm, let's check it out. They even have macaroni and cheese. It is a very busy day in the park today, so there's a line to get into this restaurant. How we look at the theming in here, this is amazing. There's so much detail. This is the area where you order over here. Quite a few different lines through here for people. This is the main line that I'm in. I only waited outside for a few minutes, but I've got to curl around in the queue and then head over here and place my order. It's got a good sized dining room. It looks like they have a variety of different types of chairs that would be comfortable for different people. The detail in this restaurant is amazing. It looks like it came straight out of the film straight out of imagination. It's fantastic. I wish the camera could capture it as amazingly as it looks in person. It looks as if they also serve breakfast here, including an American breakfast, pancake breakfast, a traditional English breakfast, a porridge breakfast, and the continental breakfast. Sorry I don't have the prices for those. They're not on this sign, but you can always check your app or check online. Something to keep in mind if you're traveling with a stroller. Strollers are not allowed in this restaurant. Different samples of what the dishes look like. I have to move quickly. There's a big platter for four people. All kinds of salads and chicken. I will say the line is moving kind of quickly even though it is long but it's very noisy in here and it's quite warm. Today it's in the 70s outside and it feels like it's in the 80s inside. Not a tremendously comfortable feeling. I imagine it would be super, super hot in the summer. And since that's the case, I would recommend just sending one person through the line to purchase your food so that the whole party isn't standing in the heat of this part of the building. So the Three Broomsticks is an expertly run restaurant. Um, they have a line expediter who actually helps line people up for the correct registers to make sure that the lines move very quickly. And then after that, you're assigned to a line to pick up your food to make sure that you pick it up quickly. From there, you move to a section where someone will assign you to a table. The whole time people are eating and leaving the restaurant, there are team members out cleaning off all the tables to make sure that they're clean and available to you right away. Now the table seaters will not necessarily assign you a table outside. If you're on your own like I am today, they offered it up as an option and they said that if I didn't find a table out here to come back inside and they would seat me inside. It is really, really noisy in there and I don't want to disturb other people who are eating their meals by vlogging sitting really close to them. That's one of the things about that dining room. The tables are all very, very close to one another. It kind of feels like you're on top of each other. A negative about dining outside is that the tables are not cleaned as regularly as the ones inside. So you might have to wipe a table down yourself. Something I do like is that all of your condiments, napkins, and your flatware are right here on your table. Let's have a look at the meal itself. This actually looks pretty good. Corn on the cob, butter, these roasted potatoes, and this is a smoked chicken. You're basically getting a quarter of a chicken. You have the wing, thigh, and leg. I mean, that's a ton of food. You can easily split this between two or even three people on a hot day when you want to eat light. And today I chose to get a butter beer. I've never tried this before. I don't know if it'll be too sweet. And I got myself an unsweetened tea in case I don't like that. I like it. It's really, really good. It kind of reminds me of a cross between cream soda and ginger ale. It's not too, too sweet. It's pretty delicious. Man, now I want to try the ice cream version of it. First thing we're going to try are the potatoes. They are skin-on red potatoes. There looks to be a little bit of seasoning on them, possibly some salt and pepper, and they may have been cooked in some kind of oil, maybe olive oil. And there are some caramelized onions with them. Mm. Their 
they're a little on the soft side, but they're not too soft. And considering there seems to be so much seasoning on them, they're a little tiny bit bland, but they're delicious. Now the smoked chicken looks really delicious. It looks like it's well seasoned. Let's check it out. The seasoning is good, but again, a tiny bit bland, but it's very tender and moist. It's good, it's not great, but it is good. This is the part of the meal that has me the most nervous. How am I gonna eat this without looking crazy? I'm gonna try. This is my favorite part of the meal. The sweet, crunchy, and delicious. Okay, let's talk about price. The butter beer was $6.99. The raspberry tea was $3.69. And this half chicken platter, it's not a quarter chicken, it's a half chicken. This is $12.99. Altogether, this meal cost $21.43. I did receive an annual pass holders discount. Um, I'm really not sure how much that is, but apparently depending on the level of pass that you have, you get a certain percentage discount in any restaurant that you go into. If you go inside a restaurant to buy something, you get that discount. So you don't necessarily get those discounts at kiosks and carts. When you initially place your order for food, you can order some alcoholic beverages, but if you wanna go back and get another alcoholic beverage, you don't have to go back through that entire food line again. There's another line, separate line, for alcoholic beverages. It's not a short line, but it is shorter than the food line. So that was a pretty good lunch. I enjoyed it. It was very filling. It was way more food than I needed for one person. But I imagine that would be a nice meal to split between two people. As far as food quality goes, I think it was pretty good. And in fact, I think I've enjoyed it as much, if not better, than some of the meals that I've had at Disney. It was a nice change from burger and fries. I do have to admit that I really enjoyed eating outside. Um, it's nice weather today, and I would say that if you have a cooler day like I've got today, check out this back patio area. You have a beautiful view of the castle. You can relax and take your time and you don't feel rushed. It's a little quieter and a little calmer. And you can actually hear music from some of the shows throughout the Harry Potter land here. It's very entertaining. Overall, I really enjoyed my meal and I highly recommend that you check this place out. It's the Three Broomsticks at Hogsmeade. Thanks so much for joining me today for lunch. May all your meals be magical. And remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.